Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you from, again, my bathroom. Why? Okay, I'm getting so many letters. Uh, Barry Ponder from uh, Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, Felix Harmony from uh, Chicago. Uh, Sandy Barwell from Louisiana. I could go on and on. You watch the videos and I tell you why I'm in the bathroom. I had a life change. I had to kind of downsize in a big way. Living with a bunch of people in a small place is the only place I can find privacy. However, with all your subscriptions that are about to abundantly come my way, I'm going to be a uh, YouTube sensation, and we're going to move on from this little inconvenience, aren't we? Yes, we are. But that's not going to happen if I have days like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, I think it was like 30%. However, the games that, the funny thing is, um, I don't really have much scratch, but what I do is I bet for people. They give me money, and I go bet for them. And um, we won yesterday because there were some actual um, games. There's always games that I will bet on for sure. And I'm going to be a little more clear about that as we move forward here, boys and girls. I'm going to do that. So you have much more, you have more opportunity for, uh, to, um, to be enhanced by these fine pearls. Yesterday I watched that Calgary game. Oh my gosh. There is something amiss there in Calgary. Oh, that team looks... Pete Peters, boy, it's time now, man. You better change things around because that team looks completely defeated. Losing against the LA Kings in a situation with all the drama that's going on between Kachuk and Doughty um, in that fashion was just horrible. Uh, I don't know what they, they went off and did some party in L.A. or something there, but something was, that was a terrible game. Um, so, anyways, I'm putting those behind me. I have some bad ones every once in a while. It happens occasionally. Yes, it does. Um, but we're going to turn around. I wasn't even going to do videos today. I was on the downside. I was sitting there with my cup of cocoa and uh, staring at the table, and my wife came in and said, No, Steve. You will not let your people down. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I will actually. Because <laughs> I feel like shit. And she said, no, I won't allow it. Remember what brought you here. And I, I didn't really remember that. But it was, it was a really good speech. And I didn't really understand it. But I felt better after. And that's all that matters. Right? <laughs> Jack. Ah, okay, let's go with the games tonight, shall we? There's more I could talk about with yesterday's games, but it's depressing. Like the Tampa Bay Lightning. What, uh, what, what, huh? Frank Coos is in net. You can't beat Frank Coos on a back-to-back -back again. Okay, anyways, let's go. <laughs> Canucks versus Rangers. Talking about that, Canucks, I watched that game. They should have beat New Jersey yesterday. They all played them, everything. Um, I believe Markstrom's going to be in net tonight. I don't like this game. I don't like it. I think it's going in overtime. It could be either team. Um, Canucks are on a back to back, but I think they're going to. They're. I think their ass is going to be burning after yesterday. I think they're going to come out flying. And Quinn is really getting on his players right now. Um, he's not happy with their performance right now. Uh, I'm going to take the Rangers 2-1. I don't know why. Don't bet it. Don't bet it. Don't bet it. Maybe the under. That's it. Uh, Habs versus the Wild. Now, here's my money card. This is my money card. The Habs played last night. I picked them to win last night. That was one of the games that I made money off yesterday. Um, it was a big win. And now I'm talking through my ass because I can't remember who they played. It was against the Blues, right? They went against the Blues. The only reason why they won is because Allen was in net, and I said that yesterday. I would not bet any game that Allen is in net. Now the Habs are going to have Kincaid in net. I think 
that the wild are going to be putting full effort into this one. This is desperation time. When you see here Jason Zucker, like, basically spitting out shit out of his mouth without even thinking about it, this sounds like an angry team. And good, you should be angry. I think Boudreau does not get angry very often. He's a very level-headed guy. But I have a feeling he's let the paint out. And this time, at this place, this is the good time to rip the paint off the freaking... Uh, dressing room and I think they did I have a feeling they're gonna come out strong I just think this would be a good money game I'm taking the wild three to one over the halves uh, the Caps versus the Hawks this there's so much I hope he's gonna be hope he has not been playing well hope he is a little bit uh, intimidated by the Samsonov kid now if Samsonov's in that Caps win this easy I hear Crawford's going to be in net for the Hawks. If Crawford's in net, I think the Caps are going to win 4-2, especially if they have Samson off in net. Um, Kirby Dock is going to be playing this first game, and that's kind of bo a bonus for um, teams. They, they bring that youthful, they, it brings a sense, a great energy to a team to see a young guy playing his first game. So it's this is a tough game. I don't know if I would... Pick it, pick it, because you're not going to be making huge money off of it anyways. But I'm going to take the Caps 4-2. Here's a game you don't touch except for an over. Oilers versus the Jets. Um, there's a lot of... Smith is going to be in that, um, which helps with the Oilers' transition. Um, the Jets have been on and off, on and off, mostly because they're playing a super young defense with guys like Heinle, 18-year-old kid, who looks fantastic, by the way, for an 18-year-old kid. Um, Little is coming back. I like the Jets' depth at forward better. Um, I actually like the Oilers' D better, and I believe Hullabuck's going to be in net. This is so tough. I'm taking the Oilers 4-3, mostly a homer, but I'm not betting this game. I would highly recommend you don't, except for over, 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 over this. Uh, Flames versus the Ducks. After the performance I saw last night, I'm sure Peters is going to freaking lose his shit. Like, that was a fucking horrible game. Excuse my French. That is one of I, I mean, Dallas has looked bad this year, but I think that might be the worst performance by any team I have seen this year. Um, and now they're going up against a Ducks team that is playing absolutely fantastic. Um, they are playing completely on the top of their game. And I still can't remember. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, it just slipped in my head. Um... Oh, that's going to piss me off. Why is it that I can never remember his name? It just went into my head and came out. Ducks head coach. Please put it down on the bottom and end this misery of mine. I look at it every time. Um, Hines? No, not Hines. Fuck. Mm, great coach. Coach the Oilers. And uh, he's got that team going. And the Flames are going to have Talbot in that. Forget about it. I'm taking Ducks. Uh, probably 3-1. to one. Um, and I'm still trying to remember his name. <sighs> okay, anyways, hit the subscribe button, boys and girls. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.